many ways, I consider myself conventional. I was the second of four children born to immigrant parents, taught vacation Bible school in the heartland of Texas, and played in the band. I studied really hard and became a doctor. After residency, I married the love of my life and we traveled the world together. But things began to change after I became a new mother. It started one day when I was taking my baby to the park. There was a tiny flutter in the middle of my chest. I thought nothing of it and it resolved. Over the next few years though, this flutter would turn into severe dizziness and exhaustion, marking the onset of chronic fatigue and a nervous system that was in complete disarray. As a doctor, I hadn't even believed these kinds of conditions to be real because medicine had no way of measuring them. It would take me being housebound for two years to finally surrender my classical medical training and rebuild my knowledge from the bottom up. On my journey, I would meet a midwife who whispered ancient wisdoms, an acupuncturist who seemed to work magic with delicate needles, a friend who could see beyond the walls, and a master who cultivated life force energy like Yoda. There was also a group of doctors who examined the root causes of disease, a therapist who guided souls to the wild edge of sorrow, and I can't forget the two small beings by my very side. These were some of the incredible teachers who guided me on the corkscrew path, deeper into myself and onward to a brave new medicine.